So what this problem states is E equals 1 half times I times W squared plus U. Remember the same thing, ladies and gentlemen. When we're trying to solve this, we want to isolate the I. Right? We want to get I by itself. So we ask the question, what do we need to undo? What, you know, what's happening to our variable that's preventing it from being by itself? We need to use the reverse order of operations and inverse operations to solve. The first thing we undo is that whatever is adding or subtracting to our variable I. Since I'm adding a U, I'm going to subtract it. Subtract it from both sides. Since these are not like terms, I cannot subtract them, and I'm just left with E minus U equals 1 half I W squared. Positive U minus U goes to 0, right? 0 plus anything is just going to be what your original anything was. So now I need to look at it and say, what's happened to my variable? And this one can get kind of confusing because it doesn't matter. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, 3 times 4 is equal to 4 times 3, right? Right? So I is in the middle, but that's okay. You can rearrange that to E minus U equals 1 half W squared times I. It's okay. You can rewrite it like that because that's the commutative property of multiplication allows us to do that. So now I look at this, and I need to see what's happening to my um, I. Now, we could do this at the same time, but we don't. Um, actually, let's just do them. I'll do it a couple. I'll do it two different ways. First way, I'm going to do them at the same time. What's happening? I'm multiplying by W squared and multiplying by 1 half. So you divide by 1 half, and you divide by W squared. Why? Because multiplication and division are inverse operations, right? So they're going to undo each other. So I divide this by 1 half and um, divide by w squared. So these are going to equal 1. 1 times i is just going to leave me with i. Now, here's where a couple things to remember. If you guys remember dividing by fractions, um, instead of dividing by a fraction, a lot of times one of the quick little ways we like to say it was instead of divide by a fraction, you can always multiply by the reciprocal, right? So the reciprocal of 1 half is 2, 2 over 1. So really what I get is 2 times e minus u divided by w squared equals i, which we can just rewrite as i equals 2 times e minus u divided by w squared. All right, that's one way you guys can look at it. If that doesn't make sense, let me show you one more way real quick. Let's get to this point. So I have e minus u equals 1 half w squared i. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't need to do this. You don't need to do them together. You can do them separately. Divide by w squared. e minus u divided by w squared equals 1 half i. All right? Now, the other thing that I like to do when I'm dealing with fractions is the same thing, but it's another way to look at it. How do you get rid of a, remember, our whole purpose is to get our 1 half to equal 1. We want to get this, right? Because these numbers, this divided by this equals 1. 1 times i is i. So our whole purpose is to get i times 1. So what do I need to multiply 1 half by to get it to be 1? 2 over 1, right? You multiply by 2 over 1 because what is 2 over 1 times 1? What is 2 over 1 and 1 half? What are those? Reciprocals, right? So that's, I mean, it's the same thing, but it's just another way to think about it. If you have a fraction, multiply it by its reciprocal, it goes to 1, leaving us just with i. Then when I multiply this by 2 over 1, you guys will see I'm going to get the exact same answer. All right? It's just different ways to solve it, but you're going to get the exact same answer. i equals 2 times e minus u divided by w squared.